Hello guys, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we are going to add these last four fields to this rental unit object. The first field now we're going to add would be the air conditioning. So it is going to be a pick list and these are the three different options. Window unit, ceiling, fan or central air conditioning is available in the unit or not. So we're going to go ahead and go to our rental unit object, click on the quick access menu and hit this new fields. So what will be the data type for this field? Air conditioning, it's going to be a pick list. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and select the pick list here and then hit the next button. The field label, we will call it as air conditioning. That is going to be the field label. And uh, the values that for the pick list would be window unit. The next is ceiling fan. The third one we have is central and then go to the next and visible to all hit the next and then save and new. The next field we will add would be the heating pick list. So it is going to ask if the unit has a heating system or not. So it is going to be either can be a forced air heating system or it can be a central heating system. So we'll add this field. It is going to be a pick list again. So we're going to go ahead and click on the pick list and hit the next button. The field label will call it as heating and the values would be first option is forced air and the second one would be central. So these are the pick list option and then hit next visible to all and next and then save and new. The third field we will add is the pets allowed. So it's a checkbox. So do we allow pets for this unit or does the apartment unit allows pets or no? So we're going to go ahead and uh, select a checkbox and hit the next button. The field label will call it as pets allowed and default value would be unchecked. Hit next. Visible to all these profiles. Hit next and then save and new. The last field that we need to add is what kind of utilities are included with this apartment unit? Does it have cold water system, hot water, gas, electric, sewage, trash? So what other different utilities are part of this apartment unit? So we're going to go ahead and uh, create a field which will be a multi-select pick list and these will be the different options. So go ahead and uh, choose a multi-select pick list here from the data type and then hit the next button. The field label we will call it as utilities included and what are the field what are the values here so what will be the options so we'll say cold water is available hot water is available these are the options to choose from gas is there electric then you have is a sewage system is available and then we have is trash so these are the different utilities that our apartment complex provide to each of the apartment units and then hit the next button visible to all hit next and hit save. So now what we have done is we have added all the different fields to our rental unit. So these are the different fields of our rental unit. So anytime a particular unit is available for rent, we will go ahead and give information about the rental unit, how many bedrooms it has, bathrooms, floors, etc. And then we are going to go ahead and advertise it and we'll find renters. So that is how this property management application is going to work. So this object is used to store the records or information related to all the available rental units for renting purpose. So this is our first custom object that we have created. Now, if you want to go to the schema builder and take a look at the different fields that we have created, this is how it looks like. So if you go to the schema builder, clear all and just select the one that we created is the rental unit. Now, this is how the rental unit looks like. So you have these are the different fields available for this custom object. 